Well, many of you spent the night hunkered down. One DC couple <laughs> wasn't gonna get, let a little thing like no. a blizzard ruin their wedding. They got married. That's right. Mark the occasion. Joining <laughs> us on the phone now is Aaron and Nyleen Mormon. Uh, wedding at the National Museum of Women and Arts uh, last night. Uh, you are a married couple. Congratulations. But tell us about how this has affected your your wedding plans. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, so our wedding was initially planned for tomorrow, today, actually, and uh, we got a call saying the weather conditions would be probably at its worst. So they, uh, everybody suggested that we move it up a day, and we knew no matter what we'd have oh. some drop off, but nice. all of our vendors really, you know, mobilized our planner, really took care of everything, um, and we were able to move it up today. We contacted all of our guests, some of which that were in town. Um, some of which that were on their way already, um, that were going to get here before the snow hit, and we, did, we made it work. Oh, well, we are, can y'all drop the bottom bar so we can actually see this photo? We are taking a look at your wedding picture of you guys standing outside in the middle of the street with the snow coming down all around you. It's a gorgeous photo. Uh, yeah. Did you have a lot of people trying to get in from out of town? Uh, we did. We had people coming in from New England, uh, Tennessee, Atlanta, Carolinas, Virginia, Delaware, um, California. So we did have a lot of people coming in from out of town. Anybody they, not they make it? it. Yeah. They all, they all made mean, it. We had a plenty, plenty of people unable to, but all, all the states and areas that we just mentioned were, were there. Wow, wow. So I can't imagine that you, you spent all this time, months, years planning this, uh, this moment. Um, and certainly now, it's, you'll never forget it. There's no question. <laughs> uh, absolutely not. It was, it was definitely a 48 hours of on my phone, texting, calling. Um, Nyleen was, you know, trying to keep it together. And I, I said, you know, I'll take care of this. You worry about getting down the aisle because that's what's most important. Wow, wow. no kidding. Good and so you. you were able to work with all the vendors as well, and they were able to move everything up a full day? Absolutely, they were all um, they were all a go for um, for rescheduling it for a Friday. We actually moved it up an hour and a half. It was supposed to be at five o'clock, and we ended up having it at five thirty. I mean, three thirty. So everyone, they, like I said, all the vendors were great about everything. Yeah. Now, wow. did you have planner, the um, yeah, planner from Jess from HJ Planners really contacted everybody. That was that was great. And so, did you have a honeymoon plan for today, or uh, were you going to postpone that and maybe go later? I would think somewhere nice and tropical sounds pretty good right about now. <laughs> so, so, we're actually playing it by ear. Um, we'll spend the night in New York on Sunday, and then we plan to fly out to beautiful Barbados on Monday morning. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> we'll we send us pictures. That's right. And we hope you make that flight as on time and you can get out of here. Yeah, no Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Yes, I, I did want to give a, a special thanks to everybody that was able to make it. We had DJ Chris Stiles. I'm a boy. Larry Owens of Cannon Baptist Church. Ava Loren Bridal, Pedals Edge. Jessica and Heather from awesome. HJ Planners. The staff hey, from National Museum of Aaron Louisiana. and I, I hate to cut you off, but we've got to go. We're up against a break here, but congratulations to you. And we'll continue All with right. our coverage of Blizzard 2016 next.